me chat them. Ten minutes performance. We performance. You need to be on the DJ Sika. I'm better just a man. Is in Zuma me na. Ah, bra. We perform it. We hear in Zuka cry just to cool down. You know what I mean? We are talking now. <laughs> Um, Roland, don't know pe event pa performance ka kana a course with studio ano what feel is saying um actually i I've, I've seen easy perform i think the last performance i mean here was at medical show was so too okay yeah, okay yeah, okay yeah, i was okay. there okay and like she our energy be one mm. mm. the performance ni nyina no be be e me fe pa me be e o yi ni top i dream body now but yeah yeah no na your fe eh i dream body you see before before she takes off the top eh eh ya na o yi atare na won the energy level eh e different at least be we hold ma won o perform ya na e do so yi ni top o be won say we slow that the academy na e fans na won but easy has some kind of energy be a mm-hmm. she knows even after time now who say oh uh-huh. when you are performing a brand new uh-huh. she has her own way of engaging fans now mm-hmm. as a sea fans now kwa na etu nyoma no on i saw to you she oh, she sat i think on the speaker mm-hmm. and i know to you we we in the top and the fans were singing i feel in that performance and you know they perform you the fans were the, singing for yes her. for her I see. Yeah. But but this morning you've also given me a different perspective of you. Really? <laughs> yeah, with the performance you've done with DJ Sticker. Okay. Uh oh 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 star, oh energy. Oh, and and, and 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 I'm so loving it. I'm so loving oh, it. Thank Sometimes you. people think okay, oh fresh artist, I'm be performing. We repertoire, we we repertoire. But look at what he, she did with DJ Sticker right now. Ah, still we can do more. Like yeah. tete tete cry and yam more. <laughs> Tete <laughs> tete, you know, like first lady, true, hi, true, true, true. you knew Hompo, and it's a big one. Charlie, congrats! Thank you, thank you. I know you, it is not you. easy to survive in this business at all, I've especially been doing it for 10 if you are a lady. Yeah, you've done ten years already. Yeah, ten years, like joke. Miss Effie, they come for me, but yeah. I ten see. years. And are you so satisfied with the achievements in ten years so far? No, to be honest, I wouldn't say I am. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. every year I see myself as a new artist. Mm-hmm. Every project we bring on board, we think of how do we make it better? How do we gain more fans? Mm-hmm. How do we make this song better? How how do we make Duna better than Away? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so mm-hmm. I do, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of resources that are restricting the success and how much I want to do a lot of things. But mm-hmm. so long as a step forward is in process, I always say success is in the progress. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. a step forward is always successful. But I I would be lying to myself if I say, oh yeah, I've achieved everything that I want. Mm. Not at all. Now, now, can we say that because you don't have a label now, uh, just as you started, you know, you started mm-hmm. with labels, taking care of all your doings. Mm-hmm. Uh, can we say that also slowed the progress a little bit? It slowed it down after I left, because when I left, like I didn't, I didn't even have one DJ's number. I didn't know how By to experience. get my song played yeah. on air. And to yeah. be honest, I'm not gonna say I had it figured out. Like, I literally left like. I was a refugee in this industry. Mm -hmm. So it took me some time to maneuver my way, get the presenters, get DJs. And Mm -hmm. I became an independent artist. Like for the past six years from Pakushito, Power, Mm -hmm. Mm Away, all was on Mm -hmm. my own. I Mm -hmm. just signed on to a new label, BBVIP. And that's when we started. Okay, so now you've signed on to a label. Yeah, it's a management firm and a PR firm. BBVIP. BBVIP. Yes, it means Black Book. VIP. Okay. It's a are, are, they, are they based here in Ghana? They haven't launched in Ghana yet, but they're more based in London. So the CEO of okay. that is the same CEO for Foresight TV UK and BBVIP. Okay. And they're yet to launch. So I'm the first artist on it. Mm, and mm, we started mm. the project with Duna. So it's been a very long journey. I think that leaving the label definitely put a dent in it. But I tried my best to like get back on as an artist. Mm. But then again, even if I was under the biggest label, there's still always room for improvement. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. So I, I, I've been talking to artists and uh, almost all of them, they don't want to be signed onto a label. They enjoy being independent. In your case, now that you are ready to enter into another contract, does it mean you were not enjoying the independence you were enjoying as an independent artist? Um, I think that I'm more knowledgeable now. You know, when you're a new artist, you, most of the time, artists leave labels and people feel like, oh, 
there's a bad omen or mm-hmm. there's a problem. Sometimes mm-hmm. not. It's just like every business. You don't see the intotos of the business before you put the pen and paper down, you know. Mm-hmm. My label, the first label links entertainment, they were amazing. Mm, you know, true. I would we didn't even break up on a bad note. Rich and I still host and judge Hitmaker and mm. Hitmaker mm. together. So mm. it's just that business wise there were some few things that weren't going well, both sides. Mm. And so mm. we parted. So knowing that getting into another contract, mm-hmm. I'm not signing a record label contract. I'm signing more of management and PR contract. So Ooh, it's not okay. a 360, mm. but I don't think I'll ever sign a 360 again. Why? Every artist is running away from signing a 360 deal. Um, I think what, what really are the details? Why are you guys not ready to do that again? <laughs> I think in this country, we don't have... I don't know yet. Um, maybe I can say for xylophone. I don't know the details of xylophone. But I don't mm-hmm. think we have like a full, proper record label running in this country. Mm-hmm. When you're signed under a label, they're taking care of your expenses. They're taking care of your house. They're even paying you an amount of money. Everything. For a number of albums. It doesn't mm-hmm. work like that. In Ghana, record labels work like management. Mm-hmm. You know, I find a gig for you. I give you 70%. Sometimes we even pay the videos with our own money. Mm-hmm. When you play shows and the... Management use that, we'll proceed, use it. Yeah. So it doesn't really work like that. So when you sign that and you're getting maybe 30% and the person is basically doing what a manager would do, then you might as well just find a manager and run your thing. Mm, mm, yeah, so. Mm. so you would now prefer the PR and the management yeah. deals than the 360, 360 yeah. record labels. Andrew, I don't think I'll sign a 360 until we have a royalty system in Ghana. Mm, it makes sense. Yeah. Now, is it also true that uh, after 10 years, you've not followed anybody on Twitter? This morning, my producer, <laughs> my producer sent me something I'm still not sure. Um, let me confirm the figures Problem. once again. Like, you have 453k followers, but you are not following anyone. On Twitter? On Twitter, yeah. No, I'm not. Why? Why are you not following anyone? Social media, and it be long give me. Like, if I see things, they conf me sometimes. <laughs> 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 and I unfollowed everyone. Okay, the few people I was following, I unfollowed them after BBA. Mm-hmm, you know, because mm-hmm, there was a lot mm-hmm. of controversy going on at that time. Mm-hmm. And this and that. And I needed time to program myself back into being an artist. So I didn't want to wake up and then you swipe and the tweets are, and I say, and say, and say, and say, and say, you know. So I unfollowed everyone on all my pages. Also because my Facebook page has... 600 and something thousand Mm -hmm. but because it's a page you don't get to follow anyone yeah you inform your fans Mm -hmm. so i thought of it why not handle my other social media as such so that is a fun page for me and my fans i don't i know what my female artists are up to we talk on whatsapp i don't Mm -hmm. really need to see it on Mm -hmm. instagram Mm -hmm. and that's how i followed everyone and it keeps the peace too because the fans don't Uh, argue so does it mean you're also not following anybody on instagram as well everywhere hey (laughs) Then they forgot to add that. <laughs> <laughs> they only sent the one on Twitter. No, and, it's, it's everywhere. And um, not your people. Are they not having problems with that? Are they? Are no. some of them? Because I know there are some people. If they follow you, and you don't follow them back. They yeah. feel offended some, some way. Some take it personal. Even some of the fans were taking it personal. Like there are times when maybe you follow one or two fans, mm-hmm. and the others will complain. Like why are you not following me? Why are you following this person? The person a better fan than I'm. So if I don't follow everybody, we will mm. be pepe pepe. Mm. Mm. No mm. problem. Mm. Equality. But um. My industry friends, nah, no one has told me they've taken it personal. Mm. And those who were following you, they are still following you. No one has left. I like your checked. industry. Okay, you have not checked. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I won't be able to see. But I like to, it helps me because when I open my page like so, mm-hmm. I get to track my work. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has a way of which they run their, their mm-hmm. page, mm-hmm. you know. So mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. me, I like it better this way than to open and then it's... Mm here in the this one it's obvious it's obvious you are scared of social media trolls because you said you don't want people to be saying this and how do you handle such when such people start maybe their attacks or their all their cyber <laughs> bullying as people will call it I, I i'm still not used to it um it's different from having constructive criticism and it's mm-hmm. different from people just throwing their opinions all over the place. And sometimes you can tell, hey, Charlie, if you know be social media, this person will be tell me this thing. <laughs> you know, they be you true. Know, they pay 
no, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> uh, and uh-huh. every artist is different. Some mm-hmm. like to write on controversies because they're built strong for trolls. Mm-hmm. And some of us, if it comes, we take it, but we don't like to put ourselves in that position. So mm-hmm. I'm hoping that I won't get to the point where they go discipline me plus my mommy, then my puppy, then my whole family members. But the small we see, self Charlie, you know, easy. I know. I'm not used to it at all. I, I can get confused though. Mm. Uh, you can wake up in the morning uh-huh. and you post a picture and the reply is easy. Well, mommy, you know? Yeah. How? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a picture. <laughs> you did not say anything. You did, did not insult anybody. I didn't even say, oh, I'm looking nice. Just a picture, no caption. Uh, you, are, you are not able to take them, huh? When it happens. I mean, you see it, but... The twenty percent, no. Oh. I'm not. I'm not feeling it to feel like oh, and then me person me call controversy. Be ah, me name say eighty percent. They be about me to me. You don't want to do it at all. No. I see. Let's talk easy and fashion. Um, last night I was scrolling through some of your post 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 on uh, Instagram, and mm-hmm. I realized that yeah, easy is fashionable. Have you faced any wardrobe or fashion yet in your career? Yeah. Mm. But then the figure say be style. When, when, <laughs> and where did it happen? <laughs> <laughs> He's just laughing. I'm sure it's a big story. It was one of the shows for another radio station. Uh-huh. Um, it was a uh, um, Junction Mall. Okay. So it was like the thing he was talking about. Me to me top. I pulled off a little more than the top, you know. So my hand had to go there real quick. Oh. And then I'm like, yeah, what's up? Feel it, feel it. <laughs> like, yeah. Some of the fans were even doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> they were holding their chest, thinking I'm like, yeah, but uh, what? What? Your brazier removed? Yeah, the tip's small. Uh, so what? What? How did you solve it? Because you were still on the stage. I was. I used my hand Th- throughout. Uh, for some period of time, then you turn around small, give them your back like you're trekking, then uh-huh. you push it back up. <laughs> <laughs> I see. No, that, that, uh, and have you been uh, giving a brand ambassadorial deal for any of the clothing companies in Ghana yet? Clothing companies, no. I'm actually starting my own Ra match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a Ra T-shirts. That's my brand. So we mm-hmm. have Ra hat, um, Ra T-shirts, Ra socks, a whole lot coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, is, is, it, is it part of your business? Because I, I listened to one interview where you said you have some good businesses running. Yeah, yeah I saw this. this I saw it. this as yeah, well. So we have hoodies, T-shirts and everything. Um, no, that's part of music, not the other side of the business. Okay. Yeah, the other okay. side of the business, yeah. Mm. When I hustled it and I put small into these mm. ones. Oh, okay. So you hustle there and you come and support it with music. Yeah. Uh, does it mean after 10 years, music is still not profitable yet? Oh, if music was very profitable in Ghana, if we had royalty systems where the streams were just not coming from mm-hmm. iTunes and Spotify out of this country, mm-hmm. like that, my, right now, the money I get here, like if I get money now, safe, like I get like 10 times. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I'll be the richest self. Mm-hmm. Me and all the females who have been doing music like 10 years past. We'll be godmothers in this money business. Mm-hmm. It's fair enough, but to be honest, it's not as huge as it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Is it expensive to get easy on a stage? In my head, no, but maybe in somebody's head, yes. <laughs> why, why do you think in your head it is no? Um... To me, I think we give a fair amount of money, knowing the worth of the show that would happen. You know, there are certain artists who have mad hit songs, okay? Every year, constant, maybe they have three hit songs, but they can't rock the crowd. Mm. And there are certain songs that are okay and above average, but the person will rock the crowd past the person with the hit That's song. That's true. You know, so That's I don't true. just come on stand, come and stand on stage and hold the microphone and say, hey, what's up, Ogwan? By the time I drop you, when get Zeb on Semame forever, Papa Shetor power away, then you know, say, yeah, with a jam. Mm, mm, so mm, if I mm. blow you the money to you for peace. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I'm sure now you can do about two hours on the stage. Oh, yeah, straight up. Mm, because there straight are more up. songs, ma- more good songs. Do you have you done live? Do you do live performances? Yeah, I've done live so many mm. times. Um, there was this loud and GH within a conference center. I was live with live band and everything. Mm. Yeah, mm. I was even new, but we killed it. <laughs> 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 now, the artists you featured so far in Ghana, are there still some one or two that you think you are still waiting to do something with them, or you are done with them? You're looking to go out national. 
as in the ones I've already featured mm, here like in to Ghana. Yeah. Them mm. again. No, the ones you featured here in Ghana. Mm-hmm. Are there still some artists you want to feature in Ghana before you say, okay, I'm done with the Ghana space? Because <laughs> listening to your songs, I, I heard voice. yes, Medical's voice, Shatawale's voice, and the new one we're about to listen to with Kwamina MP. Mm. Uh, are there still some artists that you are yet to work with them? Oh yeah, me. I'm still in everybody's fan base. So, <laughs> oh, still small. That's still small from here. Still small from here. Put mm. it together. Um, I would still love to work with Kwamina MP again. Um, again, yeah. We have more projects. See, this is a dance song. This is Giddy Giddy. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't mind to try um, a more softer vibe with mm-hmm. him. You know, Crazy Arthur also. I think he's amazing. You've not done anything with him yet. No, not at all. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that we can work together. Mm-hmm. And hey, it's like I've featured everybody. Mm. Have you done something with Sako yet? No, I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we'll find the right song. Yeah. We tried a long time ago, actually. Mm-hmm. I had his verse, but I didn't. I never got the data. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, the, uh, the verse was sent back to us as a label. But as in Sako have... verse was sent to you. Yeah. But we didn't have the data. You approached him first that you want a collaboration or a feature with him. Yeah, the label sent, did. Okay, your label. That, that was Links? Yeah, that was Links oh, a long okay. time ago. So okay. uh, we got the audio, the MP3. We heard his verse and everything. But then we didn't get the data. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that, that collaboration never happened. Uh, I'm sure some Yona swallowed the, <laughs> <laughs> swallowed the verse. <laughs> the what? The tick. I mean, uh, he, 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 no, he means TikTok. You mean yeah. uh, oh. did, you have something with him already? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, you see me and take it. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, and the style too will be cool. <laughs> 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 the way I used to dance to that song in school. I know. When Tisha was going out, I saw you talking to her. Then I asked, um, "Is." Easy having so many friends in the industry, or you are a walk alone girl. Hmm. Mm. Problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of acquaintances uh-huh. in the industry. We're very cordial, but my bosom friends are not industry people. They are friends that I went to uni with. They are friends mm-hmm. I went to SS with. And before I started music, I hold on to very dear friendship. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not the young Chile friendship type. My friends are like my sisters. Mm-hmm. So I didn't leave my friends behind when I became easy. Mm-hmm. And so I do stuff with them. Mm-hmm. But everywhere I go, industry, we talk, we chat. If I meet you, we are nice, we're good. But we're not like... Mm. You know what I mean. Is it, is gang. It, is it, You're not a gang gang. <laughs> is, is it deliberate or maybe it is because of how our industry operates where today this one is saying this about the other. Today there is a few here, beef here. Is that why you are intentionally taking yourself away from some of them? Um, I was already like that. But then stepping into the industry and hearing the backbiting and the stabbing and the gossips and you have one issue with one person. One person comes to see your host. I'm just like, hey, my, my initial baby, I'm your one you know, and it's worked perfectly for me. So mm-hmm. I like to keep everybody as an acquaintance. That way we respect each other mutually. Mm-hmm. You know, we meet, mm-hmm. we vibe. Mm-hmm. If there's a program, we are all there. When we finish, we go home. Mm-hmm. But we still support each other whichever way. Becca invited me to her video launch with um, Tiwa. Mm-hmm. I went. So we support each other. But my closest friends are not industry, industry people. people. Yeah. Mm, I see. When you released your Duna song with uh, <laughs> Kwamina MP, Mado. I know, there were so many <laughs> suspicions. Some people even thought that you have started having a thing with uh, Kwamina MP based on the photos, some of the photos where his hands were placed. The people thought, mm, hey. easy, boko dear. They were asking <laughs> questions. <laughs> Uh, how are you answering them and uh, what is the connection between you and uh, Kwame Naim? You even said that you want to work with him again. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no reason I'm like that. Too. No, no, no. I mean, what? you want to work with him again. Like, again and again. Meaning it was good, isn't it? Yeah, oh, he's a... <laughs> if it is nice, you play it twice. Ah. You. God bless you. <laughs> um... No, Kwamina is a, is a good vibe. But most of the artists, I would like to work with them again. I've worked with Stoneboy twice. So mm-hmm. The first one was Emergency. Mm, and mm, 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 they are showing me one. Ooh. This is a serious position. Yeah. 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 I just picked up my dimple, Kim <laughs> <laughs> No, we are not interested in that dimple. Yeah. We are interested in that. Yeah. 
Yeah. In the down position. <laughs> yeah. Is it say it or? No, we put the same thing. Bakubi and us, Ukraine, Mobi Mobi. I make a Shano Bra, Shano Bra, Bakubi. I said, Ninsa, Ninsa, Kita, Nemo, I so squeezy. I so squeezy tomatoes, B. <laughs> yeah, so what is that connection uh, between an artist and um, uh, another artist? Sometimes, yeah, you can work with someone and it's just straight up vibe. You mm-hmm. go to the studio, you work and that's it. Other times, too, you just, you bond with a person's vibe. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if you've met Kwame Nine person. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, mm. His vibe is just like my vibe. It's just, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Positive, energetic. Mm-hmm pure and he's very real like he doesn't fake fake setting things and stuff mm-hmm. just like me so mm-hmm. i think that our bond just connected and instead of having the song have his picture and my picture edited on an artwork uh-huh. this photo this photo this ah, photo uh, i see what you're talking this about photo. he looked like he was quizzing my tomato, my sweetie potato. <laughs> if I don't squeeze my tomato, fire, baby, fire. <laughs> uh, uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, <laughs> uh, is it tell it all, tell it all, tell it all. So, uh-huh. um, you uh-huh. know, through Corona, I hadn't done anything, I hadn't mm. released any song, and mm. I felt like I've been quiet for like eight months, so mm-hmm. I can't just come out with an artwork and say, Duna is coming. Mm-hmm. We needed to come with heat. We need mm. people talking. Mm. <laughs> I know. Uh, he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, he only no. meant coming and be powerful. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. We're a guy. Yeah, <laughs> like we're powerful. <laughs> so we did the photo shoot just to like. um get the fans connecting two brands together and mm. then they now fell in love with some mm. relation i never posted anything and said here's my husband here's my boyfriend or i'm mm. dating we mm. just put the pictures out mm. and oh but haven't you also heard that phrase that a picture says a thousand words a thousand, mm. hey. and that's why i think it was good it was a very good nice strategy Mm-hmm. So they now put their thousand words to it. Some mm-hmm. thought, oh no, are you serious? Some thought, oh, they're kid. Some thought, oh, da 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 da. But mm. it worked in my favor. So mm. Mm. If, if they like, so I'll let them come and hold ah, here. I see. So that. But is he a guy you can consider to be the original guy? Oh, I did. <laughs> Who's the fake one? <laughs> <laughs> the fake one is the passing through guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the real side ones. I know, right? Check, check. I know, right? <laughs> the fire service people. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Those people, we, we, call them, we, we call them to come and quench fire. <laughs> No drama, no drama, no drama. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, I date people based on their vibe, you know, mm-hmm. and how they treat me. So mm. why not? He's an amazing guy. So not, he qualifies, huh? Oh, every guy qualifies. Oh, not every. Okay, you said, well, unless you're a lazy guy. Mm, mm, I don't I don't like lazy men. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Lazy yeah, lazy gotta, with work, lazy indoors. Both, where? you know. Mm. Especially the second one. Mm. <laughs> Guys, work hard, oh, and yes, I love <laughs> Oh, we are chum, we are chum, we are chum. <laughs> and make up, and make up, free of your real chum. Emeka, I said, you know, I didn't know. I didn't make a sash. I had to 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 make a sash. I had Mm-hmm. No, but I need to take you home. The things he said, like, <laughs> you know, when I was on my way here, uh-huh. my road manager had a little issue with his car. Mm-hmm. And usually, as an artist, you're not supposed to show up alone. Yeah. But I'm like, ah, no, they've booked for the interview, so I'm going. I, I came here by myself. Uh-huh. So until the work is done, uh-huh. I'm literally, no, I thought, you, oh, there's, more, there's more to it. There is more to it, but the whole thing is most of it is personal. 
that was why I chose to talk about the career part. Okay. Mm. So mm. I have to see mm. you in private for the personal and mm. right. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> our Apo. Okay, Ro, take over. Mm-hmm. I think Easy first of all has some title Obia. Obia and Timun Contest. The first lady. Oh, the first, first lady. I heard you be Uncle Ho. Queen no pen or more. I'm power, but I was what I said. Oh, first lady, you'll be uncle, but I'm queen. And indeed, she's not nah, uh, nah first lady. Don't mean your queen count. Oh, mm. first lady, need the own fab queen in your shape because her husband is oh, timid. Declare lockdown. Now, queen, not queen, not queen. Wow, bass, bass. Understand? And so far, she's proven says she mm-hmm. is indeed the first lady of links. L I N K S. What's the sound? Ah, okay. But links. Okay. We are the funny guy. Oh, he's honest. L I N K S. Yeah, we are guys. We are guys. <laughs> what I say because uh-huh, uh-huh. look at look at the way other female musicians in quotes struggle to have features with our top male musician mm, mm, over mm. the years the likes of Shatawali, mm, stone boy mm, um medical medical mm. Wamina mp mm. like she's here to work with kwesiata mm-hmm. and I, i'm not i'm not sure say or be finding it difficult yes at times, with regards to time, time and yeah. space, mm, yeah, yeah, yes, mm. the, it could also be a factor. But, but the brand, but the brand is in Ankasa is very, very solid. Mm, yeah. And just like my my big boss Christopher said, like she she's a whole workaholic. As in say, a human you and I always, you know, I have seen her perform on so many platforms, but that performance no put it up or medical show no mm-hmm. when she was coming on stage i think crowd nene or more rowdiness even the difficulties she had to go through even before she climbed the stage mm-hmm. the couple, it got to a point some of her even road managers ne cry is slow and she climbed the stage even before managers ne pull through stage she no. left them i was very very observant was at the now yeah no pa, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. shows how like hungry yes she's she looking is for for for, for her success mm. You know, me, I, I, I've always been her fan, loved her Thank music, you. 10 years running. Some of these young female musicians or more banner, should these are the people that they need master classes from. Mm, mm, deep. Thank you. Um, let me go straight to Adam, and then finally, and we wrap up. Mm. Yeah, I think, uh, <clears throat> you know, she she has something which female artists should, should really learn from. I think like she says something every year she see herself as a new artist and trust me it's like for the past year she's been off links it's like every time she has one one of the hit songs in the country is hers and i really admire that and about her from afar uh, from from your experience with record labels among artists as a female artist what do you think impedes the growth of female artists in ghana well, I think the support of the media, 100%. Um, the way they jump onto the men and the male artists is not the way they jump onto with female artists. I think that most of the male artists get very easy access to male people. You can come and go like, oh, Sammy Jale, I saw you for play, I'm on me. If I come, oh, because Sammy, please, will you play by song for me? You can't be too best now. I can't hit up Sammy three, four times in a day because then it might seem awkward like, ah, you be girl, why they hit me up like that? Mm. But, call mm. me now or shut up, you don't go play the song again. Yeah. Don't come here. No, that way you're right. You know, so, yeah, I you go call you any time, any day, yeah, and, uh, the mm. men have more connects with the men is a male dominated industry and so they favor them a little more so if the media would be more supportive towards females to know that if we're playing 10 songs from guys let's play five songs from the girls if today we have a session for xylophone fm we will play 10 songs where it be hits of guys at least make we play three of the females too but mm, mm. easy and and, uh, wrapping up Duna is a solid song. Right. How did this come to mind? Duna. <laughs> Take me through. I know, Mr. How, how, you know, Mr. I get Duna like that too. <laughs> how, how did it happen? Uh, um, 
I know we say what. I know. I, I know. Get do not to like that. Oh, but like, some people. Some people have been to. Some people like it this way though. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. So I like the at them, at them, yeah. at them. Uh, they like this type. So, yeah. How, how did you do? Yeah, it? How, how did it come um, to mind? How did you put it together? Take I me yeah, I asked uh, Uncle Beats. I hollered at him and I was like, "Yo, I want to hop on one of your beats." So he sent me three beats and I heard this one. I'm like, "Nah, this, this is the Christmas jam that we're looking for." Sometimes you just connect to a beat, you know. And I was thinking about it. I was writing the verse here and there. Was, I was like, mm, but who can do this song? Who's Vim? And I'm like, nah, I've done medical. I've done Shatter. I've done Stumbo. And I was like, come in at MP. He just suited it perfectly. So I sent it to him and fast, 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 quack, quack, Like, ah, this guy, you know, you know, stress me. Cry, and, and you know, Kwame Natu is the party type of artist. Yeah. Yes. I give him a party yes. song and he'll kill yeah. it. Yeah. So I mm. got his vibe on this song and I knew it was going to do well. And God being good is people have supported it a lot. Mm. Lots of media people, lots of bloggers. I have mm. to say on social media, all the, the pictures were just everywhere. Mm. So I want to say a big thank you to the I fans. Think, too. Um, you've done a song with someone you're about to promote. The song is, you know, like picking up. Mm hmm. All of a sudden, there was an accident. Yeah. How did you take that news? It, it wasn't easy for me. I halted all interviews for like a week. Mm. I was meant to come on Xylophone TV the week before, mm -hmm. but we had to put everything on hold because I felt it would be a little insensitive, mm. you know, to be going around and posting, do not challenge twerking when, mm. and he's a friend too. Yeah. So it hit me just as much as it hit him, but he's doing better now. So we're back on the grind and i think the one week or so is coming on what do you what do you have to tell him oh has um, it hasn't happened already i think at 12 mm -hmm. eh, it was on the 12 or so. he posted i saw him post yeah it he posted a couple mm -hmm. um mm. i i mean i've told him several things in person and personally but to the fans and to people everyone should support him with love it's a very traumatic thing to go through even when you're not there and it happens Mm -hmm. It's a traumatic thing to go through. So how much more sitting next to your dad and having that mm. happen, you know? Mm. He he needs all the support, the love. Um, and from the media houses to don't slow down his promotion. He has songs that he was promoting before it happened. Keep him going. So at least something would vim him up to come back into the industry because it could break or make him. That's and true. we need him to come back stronger. So, yeah. And yeah. finally, we are entering 2021. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. is how are we going to see easy in 2021 hmm. the only way you will not see easy shots 2021 is if antikoro decides <laughs> to just come and lock us down again 